What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Line in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are back today with another episode of Star Trek Resurgence. Now, <laughs> I have an admission to make. I had no idea that for the previous five episodes of this game and all nine episodes of Star, of Star Wars Squadrons and the two episodes of Star Trek Online all had screen tearing going on. Um, I'm kind of past the point these days of watching my own videos. Uh, um, uh, after the editing process, like once it's uploaded, it's kind of like on to the next thing. And, um, for whatever reason, I was not seeing it on my editor. It was, I, I think that I just, I get 60 frames per second. Ultimately in the end, I was able to fix the issue, um, by just lowering my frame rate. <laughs> <laughs> I was attempting to record at 60, and I thought that that's what, uh, you know, the PlayStation 5 sends out as. Um, but a lot of games are native 30, so including both games that we're playing right now. And so I went ahead and just reduced down to 30 frames a second, and we are in luck. So in the previous episode, we discovered that there was an ancient civilization kind of getting involved with some things. Now I said the Takan Empire, it could also be the Preservers, or it could also be the Iconians. I'm not quite sure which one it is. The, the iconography on the logo for this game, for instance, um, and then what we've seen so far, it does give me like, I think we've seen the architecture before in Star Trek Online, and I think it might be the Iconians. So, Let's go ahead and find out. I've also done some settings to the game. Uh, it's a little bit brighter. I've turned, I've adjusted my music and my volumes and all of that. I've also added subtitles to the game, just in case any of you guys have difficulty in hearing. Um, yeah, it's something that I like to see uh, in video games, and I just can't believe that I forgot to put it on there. So, let's go ahead and get started. As I was telling Carter, I want all the data I can get on this warp problem. And the negotiating team's shuttle has been recording data all the way back from Hotari. Even better than our probes. So pull the sensor and engine ISOs from the Melville when it sets down. Got we'll it. Do. Super cool. I'll join you and Chovak down in engineering to run another analysis after the briefing. <laughs> I didn't like this warp problem when we thought it was some astronomical anomaly. And I like it a hell of a lot less now that we know someone is doing it to us. How does it work? What do we even do about it? What do you say we pull these chips and find out? Nice. <laughs> Took some damage on the way. That ionic interference scored the hull plating. Might be some micro welds. Let's try pulling together. All right. Cool. Three, two, one. Left stick and R2. It won't budge. Gotta be the storm damage. We need to... Huh. Welcome back. Any excitement down on the surface? Excitement? No. Nothing like that. Hey, can you hand me the EJ-7 interlock? From the toolbox. I don't know what that is. Not much use for one on a security detail, huh? Carter? Yeah, I'll get it. Uh, this is where I don't know. It's not letting me go over that far, so... Oh, this one? No. Welding torch. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I'll apply pressure while you decouple the panel. All right. Ignite it. And then we need to go this way. Cool. Here, I'll help. <laughs> Huh. 
cool. We've got this. Open up and say ah. Thanks for the hand. We have to get these isolinear chips down to engineering. No problem. You really know everything about these ships, don't you? The tools, the systems. Like a walking Starfleet technical manual. I don't know everything. Well, I wouldn't say everything. But I know my stuff. <laughs> I can see that. Hmm. Come on. Start pulling chips. Interesting. All right. Cool, man. So, right stick, and R2, okay, weird, cool. Carter. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? What's this? Kind of crystal formation. Super weird. Whoa, this substance is a quantized spin crystallization of hydrogen, carbon, and lithium. It's emitting tetrametric pulses at an interval of 3.8422 seconds. Quantized crystallization isn't natural. I mean, it's only theoretical as a means to engineer matter on a subatomic level. Interesting. What's it doing in there? Don't touch it. Carter. Don't. Wait. Regulation 364, subsection 9. What? Regulation 364, subsection 9, orders that in the case of an unknown Thank substance you. infiltrating a sealed system, it will be placed in secure confinement before further examination. Retrieve a containment module. Don't you think we're more equipped to deal with whatever this is? No. Before anything else, this is a security issue. Is it, though? You don't even know what this is. Which is why we need to study it. Once it's contained. Well, if it's not natural, then someone might have put it there. It could be a tracking device, some kind of sabotage, or even a bomb. Which is why we need to get it to the containment lab. Come on. I can't make an exception. Not even for you. I'm still going to report these crystals to Commander Westbrook when we send the shuttle data. And I will inform my superiors. I'm taking this just as seriously as you are. Mm, this is a little bit of a weird pissing contest. But I overheard talk about the warp disruption on the shuttle. Now these crystals? Yeah. Maybe this situation is more than we can handle with just a science vessel. We could trigger a distress call, get Starfleet to send more ships. Uh... Or I could send a message to my old CO on the Adirondack. Get some combat tested vessels. We're on our own here. We shouldn't do this alone. We're at the edge of the quadrant. Help isn't just gonna pop over like we're in Sector 001. Wouldn't hurt to try. You talk like you've never had your backs up against a wall before. This is Starfleet. We solve our own problems. Hmm. This is kind of a weird little interaction. Okay, stand back. Get this to the containment lab. We'll get it set up for you. I'll let you know when it's safely confined. Oh, we'll be there. Last thing you want is to study this down in main engineering and have it explode next to the warp core. Here's a note for you, Star Trek The Next Generation. Don't study phasers next to the warp core. Mm. Huh. Almost forgot. Can't have that. <laughs> for a second I thought she'd gone cold on you. Like she might have changed her mind. But I guess this whole situation has her spooked. Uh, Maybe she knows more than us? Or it's because this is all happening so fast? Aren't you? But she usually doesn't scare easy. 
Batman. You can't tell me you're not a little spooked, too. We all should be. Believe me, I'm taking it seriously. But Miranda talking about sending a distress call on her own? Yeah, that is that's a little weird. too far. She was probably just thinking out loud. I'm sure she'll come to her senses. This mission has enough complications stacking up. Now we'll get through it. You, me, and Miranda too. Commander Rydeck was able to work behind the scenes during the negotiations and made contact with a representative from the Hotari delegation named Tylus. She mentioned an unusual artifact of unknown origin being held under tight security within the Hotari palace, which she believes came from the mines on Tau. Now, this artifact might have a connection to the revolt, to the storm, and to the warp disruption we now know has been targeted at the Resolute. Hmm. Commander Rydeck? If you want to take it from here? Of course. Tylus managed to infiltrate the heavily guarded location within the palace and sent us these scans using my tricorder. It appears to be some sort of control panel, possibly connected to the warp disruption weapon originating on Tau. Of particular interest is this symbol, hmm. which we couldn't identify the origin of. Yeah, it's the flame. The Federation database has records from a vast number of civilizations. If anyone from Starfleet has come across this before, the system should recognize it. Cross-referencing with Federation records. Displaying symbols from Federation database with a 90% probability of match or higher. Select a symbol to further analyze. It. Ninety nine point two percent match. That's it. Got it. Takan called it. Wow. So, what are we looking at? The design and composition indicate this is a glyph associated with the ancient Khan Empire. Their civilization collapsed over 600,000 years ago, but once spanned millions of systems with a population numbering in the trillions. Wow. Fascinating. The Takan were once the most advanced, most powerful civilization in the galaxy. Is it possible the Hotari found Takan technology? I wonder if they even know what they have. I doubt it. Our knowledge of the Takan is limited. I have only encountered passing references to them. I've heard of them. Actually, I've heard of the Takan. You have? Quite impressive, Commander. Computer, summarize the Enterprise D's discovery of a Takan outpost. On cool. star date 41386.4, the USS Enterprise D, under the command of Captain Jean Luc Picard, discovered a Takan outpost in the Delphi Ardu system. According to the mission summary, an unbreakable energy draining field was deployed against the Enterprise and a huh. Ferengi ship. The Enterprise was only able to escape after negotiating their release with an entity known as Portal 63, yeah. guardian of the Takan Empire. Unbreakable energy draining field. It starts to make sense. What else is there? There's a lot here. Let's take it piece by piece. Select the aspect you wish to learn more about. Portal 6-3 for sure. Someone from the Takan Empire is actually still around. Or at least was, 16 years ago. Computer, what other information do you have on Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire? The entity known as Portal 63 is of an unknown nature. A biped humanoid, he was unaware that the Takan Empire no longer existed at the time of the encounter. He was able to control the crystal based technology of the Takan outpost through Whoa. a pair of telepathic means. It was by his choice that the Enterprise was released from the energy draining field after Commander William T. Riker of the Away team argued on behalf of both Starfleet and the Ferengi. Telepathic control of their technology. As I have said, they were the most advanced civilization in the galaxy. Okay, let's look at... <laughs> Gotta look at the Enterprise, man. I'm sorry. The technology to capture and hold the Federation flagship would have to be unbelievably powerful. Computer, 
What else can you tell us about the energy draining field the Takan used? The Enterprise D was unable to break free on its own. The precise nature of the technology was never fully understood. Only that the crystalline technology used was beyond the comprehension of then current Starfleet science. Crystalline. The engineering team found a quantized yeah. crystal formation in the shuttle you took to Hotari. They registered tetrametric radiation coming from it. We have Takan technology on board right now? We might. I'll run a full analysis in the containment lab. Okay, what about the Ferengi? There appears to be some sort of restriction order from Starfleet. Computer, explain this restriction. A Starfleet directive similar to General Order 7 forbids entering the Delphi Ardu system or attempting to make contact with Portal 63. Fascinating. Starfleet doesn't throw up a no trespass sign for just anybody. I suppose it makes sense considering what happened to the Enterprise D. And. Delphi Ardu 4. What sort of planet is Delphi Ardu 4? Delphi Ardu 4 is an M class planet, a barren rocky world with little to no vegetation and frequent ion storms. The giant crystals that grow there absorb energy, but it is not understood how they do so. The entire Delphi Ardu system, consisting of 11 planets, was considered completely uninhabited until the encounter with Portal 63. Wow. Frequent ion storms. That can't just be a coincidence. The Illidians should have crushed the revolt. But if the Hotari have Takan technology and can control it, see why they're willing to negotiate peace. Absolutely. For all we know, this could be just the beginning. And we're up against something greater than we can imagine. We need to get down to those mines. There's only one way to find out. We need to see what's down there for ourselves. I might be able to help with that. We've been able to triangulate the source of the ionic interference and warp disruption to a specific mine on town. Hmm. Engineering used the latest data from your shuttle to pinpoint its origin. There. So we know where to look. <sighs> Commander Rydex right. We need to know what's down there, what the Hotari are hiding, to better understand what we're up against. Absolutely. And to neutralize it if we can. Captain. Embarking on a mission to the Hotari moon would not be viewed favorably by either side. No, it would not. However, given the circumstances, we are entirely within our rights to Correct defend ourselves. Correct the mundo. I just want to make sure this doesn't blow up in our faces. Which is why I'm thinking of sending Commander Rydek on a covert mission to Tau. Nice. Assuming you're up to the task. Damn straight. It would require absolute secrecy. Dude, I am... Always ready. It's not without risk. I'm ready for action, Captain. Just say the word and I'll be there. I'll admit, I wish I could go myself. I'm hoping Tylus can accompany you. The priority is to avoid detection. That's right. It's a calculated risk. The last thing we need is to get caught and then blamed for violating our neutrality, aggravating an already tense situation. We can't afford any mistakes, which is why I've chosen you. It's a risk we have to take. It's a risk we have to take. We need to know what we're up against. Agreed. And of course, you'll have the full support of the Resolute throughout. Nice. We must take every precaution. Get in touch with Tylus and make the necessary arrangements as discreetly as possible. Got it. Bridge to Captain Solano. The Olydians have moved additional ships to the edge of the Hotari system. Current heading is straight for the homeworld. Mm. Understood. It would seem we no longer have the luxury of waiting. Correct, Mundo. In that case, May I suggest you and I return to Hotari Prime? Doing so will provide Commander Rydek as much time as possible to complete her mission. Agreed. We'll hail the Queen's delegation from my ready room. We all know what we need to do. Dismissed. That's <laughs> so cool, man. This is a cool story. Like, I'm not expecting this at all. A really well thought through and deep story. Cool. <laughs> This is great. I'm loving this game. Petty Officers Diaz and Ed Salar, where is the crystal formation that you found in the shuttle? I have tasked Ensign Calloway with performing a full analysis of the tetrametric pulses. Security brought it to the containment lab. I was just there. What? I don't know anything about it. Security never checked it in. Miranda never got there? Huh? She's the one that had the crystal formation? 
Yeah. Her and the rest of the security detail from the negotiation. Weird. Diaz, Tamaris. Carter Diaz to Miranda Maris. That's not good. Commander Westbrook to Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Respond. Damn point, Something's right? right. Yeah. She's still on the ship. She has to be. Computer, locate Petty Officer Miranda Maris. Petty Officer Miranda Maris is in the isolinear storage array on deck five. Why is she there? I'll go find her. Good. I am sure Mr. Diaz can attend to this on his own. Uh, are we sure about that? Oh boy. What's going on? <laughs> this is a cool ass room. Look at this. It's a, oh man, the computer core. Super dope. Find Miranda at this thing. Examine server. Someone improperly pulled these isolinear chips. Huh. Look at this. Dude, this is super cool. Some chips on the floor over here. What's going on? Where are you, Miranda? Why are there chips on the floor? Who did this? Okay, this is kind of creepy. Let's go up the ladder. I'm gonna enter silently here. Yeah, we're gonna be quiet. Can we look up. Please look up. Please look up. Look up more. <laughs> this is not cool. This is cool, but eh. it's not Silent Hill. But man, dude, more chips on the ground. doing I'm busy right now I can see that back later expecting someone else what's the matter were you worried it was gonna be someone else no I mean I'm glad it's you uh, what are you transferring but I'm through here so I can't stay in chat I have other things to do Sorry you came all this way for nothing. What happened here? What are you doing? What exactly were you doing in here? I saw you accessing files. Copying them onto that. This is secure data. It's really not my place to talk um... about. Look, I appreciate that you came to check on me, but I'm fine. You worry too much. We're on a starship. You're acting strange. Nothing's gonna happen to me here. I'm worried because you're acting strange. I don't know what it is you're really doing in here, but Commander Westbrook said the crystals you took never made it to the containment lab. Will you drop it? 
No. I don't like being interrogated, Carter. Whoa. Hey, wait up. Dude. What is she up to? I'm getting some very mixed signals from you. You right should now. be. I'm sorry. I'm under a lot of stress right now. Yeah, bullshit. Just tell Chovak or whoever I don't know where the crystals are and let me go about my business. No. I know we have some things to figure out. I don't have time to see You're hiding and something. With you. I don't know what it is, but you're hiding something. What's in that storage drive? I told you it's secure data. So drop it. No. Miranda, hold on. No. Get out of my way. <laughs> Bruh. Get her. So I see you found each other. Oh, thank God. You were taking so long, the commander sent us to see thank what the you. Thank you, Diaz, you were sent here with specific orders, and fighting your crewmate wasn't one of them. What the hell is going on here? Dude, chill out. Let's just let them explain. I'd like to hear that. Because I know what it looks like. Something's wrong with her. There's something seriously wrong with her. She's not herself. I'm telling you. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. Well, for one, she was copying data onto this. This drive is unauthorized. Correct. There are ISOs all over the floor. And that's why I was in here, investigating Bullshit. this situation. And when Carter came looking for me, we got our wires crossed. Why are Isn't you lying? Look, I wish I was wrong about this. That I was overreacting. More than anything. But I know what I saw. And it's not what she's saying. <laughs> I can't believe this. I don't know what's going on here. But I think we need to call it into security. Agreed. She can explain herself in the brig. Correct. Hold on a minute. We don't need to put this on anyone's permanent record. Yes, we do. Carter said you're not yourself. If something's wrong with you, we should head to sick bay and the doc will fix you, right? Ah, uh, you're right. Yeah, I... I haven't felt right since I came back from Hotari. I think I should see the doctor. Hmm. You two know her? If you really think she's not well, we can take her to sick bay first. But what I know is this is a security breach. Yes. We should treat it as such. Please, just let me go see the doctor. I'll take her to sick bay. She did have a bumpy ride back on the shuttle. Let's take her to sick bay. It's hmm. better than the brig, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Fine. Get checked out by medical. You two go with her. I'll put this back together. Thanks, Ensign. All right. And I think that's what we got for today. I have to admit that this game is turning out to be everything and more than I expected it to be. And beyond that, it is incredibly enjoyable. The story is really good. The characters are believable. It's immersive. This is great. I'm really, really, really glad that we have decided to play this game. And I'm glad that I'm giving you a tear-free recording. So that's what I got for you today. Uh, and I just want to say thank you. I know that there was a million things y'all could have done today. And instead you spent a couple minutes with me watching me play a video game. And I think that's pretty damn cool. If you guys have any questions, comments, tips, tricks, please leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And my friends, until we see each other again, I hope you all have a wonderful day in this beautiful world, wherever you happen to be. And just remember to always live long and prosper.